But he's stuck. Gabriel can't crawl. He doesn't know how to crawl, so he rolls. And we put him over there. Actually, this mat was on the edge of the, the rug. Then he rolls, and he rolls, and he rolls, and then he hits this little bar. <laughs> and then he continues to try and roll and push. Oh, and he's a fan of the Today Show. <laughs> he keeps trying to roll, and he drags the mat along with him. Can you show us? You're just mad because you're stuck, huh? I've been trying to come up with some new activities for Gabriel to do during the day outside of just the usual put him in put him in the bouncer, put him on his play mat, you know, rotating the, the usual things. So last night we we roasted some sweet potatoes for him to have for solid food. You wanna talk? I'm sorry. Did you drop your keys? So anyway, we roasted some sweet potatoes and, you know, peeled them and then put them in the fridge overnight. So today they're cold and I put them in a little snack size Ziploc bag, some of the, the mushed up pieces, and uh, I thought I would give it to him and let him mash it around and play with it for a little while, smash up his own supper for us. We'll run it through the food processor anyway, but something mushy. It's a new um, fit, feeling sensation he can try. And it's cold, so it'll be good on his little gums. So we'll give it a try and see if that works. It could either go really well or really bad. I don't have any duct tape to like seal it up anymore, so I'm going to have to... This will be a super supervised activity. I think I need to get started because this guy's getting fussy. This is either going to go really well or really, really bad. What are you chewing on that part? That's not the cold part. Chew on this part. Look, look. Squeeze it. You don't like that. That's nothing to chew on the here. Oh my goodness. What do you think of that? Is that weird? So I mashed all the stuff into one side. Let's see if that makes a difference. Squeeze it. You're going to go straight to the plastic. Yeah, it's not comfortable. You're not chewing on the soft part. That's the part. Now you got them. Smash it around. We call that squishy. This activity may have been a bust. This may have been a bad idea. You want to squeeze it up? Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Now we're FaceTiming with Mommy at work while we mash our own dinner. <laughs> Hopefully we're not violating any child labor laws by making it work. <laughs> and he dropped it. So we've started doing what I'm calling daytime feeding. So in addition to his bottles, he now gets solid food during the day and, so and solid food at night. So we're growing up, we're being big boys, right? So I'm about to give him his rice cereal. He's excited about it. Then we're going to do a new project. It'll be fun. All right. Oh, you want, you want some of this? Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this in film.
Hey, <laughs> got you again. Got a little bit on your face there, buddy. He didn't really seem all that into his rice cereal today. He got it all down for most of it. What didn't end up on his face. I think I have a fussy baby on my hands. So this little kid has been in kind of a mood this, <laughs> this afternoon. After his last nap, he woke up in the mood to argue. So what I do is I put him in front of this window and he likes to look out and into the backyard, talk to the birds and the squirrels and stuff. Don't you? You like that? You gonna let me get your next project ready? Activity? Hopefully. Okay, activity number two. We have the tray to his high chair large freezer bag that's been duct taped down really good so he won't be able to pull this up and chew on it. Shaving cream, food coloring. What I'm going to do is put some shaving cream in this bag, put a few drops of food coloring into the shaving cream, and we'll seal it up, tape it down so that he can't get to it. He'll be up here, and then he'll be able to mush it around and play with it safe inside the bag. He won't make any contact with the actual shaving cream, but he'll be able to mush the colors around. and. Uh, play with the new you know, new touch sensations. So hopefully it's an educational activity that'll keep him busy for a little while and happy for a little while because we're being fussy today, aren't we? He likes that window. And I think we're ready. We have shaving creams, really not a lot of shaving cream, just kind of, you know, just a little bit. So it's, it won't, he's not going to be able to hit this with enough force to break that bag or anything like that. And I've got it taped down real well so that he won't, even if he could hit it hard enough to maybe pop the zip block part open, that will be uh, protected as well. So I'm going to put him on there and let him start mushing these colors together and see what happens. We are in position in front of the window with our bag of shaving cream colors. I put it far enough away because he likes to lean down and chew on the edge of that tray so I put it far enough away that he can't get to it and chew on it but he can still reach the shaving cream in the bag. He can't quite reach up here so all the, so the shaving cream I had up here I had to push down We'll play with it some more and see if he gets into it. Yeah, see? Smart daddy knowing what he's doing. I'm not going to say that either of those activities were a bust, but uh, he didn't stop grunting or whining until I put him on his play mat so that he could work on these tags. That seems to be his new favorite toy. The tags on the play mat. Uh-oh. I think somebody's tired. Needs a nap. Maybe that's why our, our shaving cream activity wasn't the resounding success I was hoping it would be. That's alright. I'm going to try it again, I think. Maybe in a couple weeks. He is going to break that. Oh.
Oh. Hair. Mommy's home. It's all right. They've already seen it now. <laughs> Gabriel. Oh, hey. More to that doll. Hey, baby. Gabriel. He's literally not looking at me. There it is. There he is. Nope. Mm. Puppy's more interesting. <laughs> Hi. Do you like his shaving cream experiment? Eh, we've been in a little bit of a mood today, so... <laughs> mood all night. It was a... I don't think it was a complete failure. Because he did smack it around a little bit. I think if he was not as fussy, he would have been... Or more interested in playing, it would have been a better experience. <laughs> Charlie, you doing it too? <laughs> Poor Charlie. Charlie pants. So we're gonna give this little guy some baby mashed, mashed sweet potatoes. <laughs> See if he likes them this time. Yeah, and if you have any uh, suggestions for DIY baby seven month old <laughs> antibodies, for uh, any DIY sensory activities for babies, things that. Uh, yeah. it, Gabriel and I could do during the day. Please feel free to leave that in the comments. Let us know. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Even though I hate thumbs upping. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, leave us comments and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more and click the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you get notifications. Is when that we... what that does? Yeah. Is that why I don't get? Yeah. Oh. You gotta click the little bell. <laughs> You get notifications when we post new videos. All right, so we'll see y'all next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye. Bye bye. Stop thumbs upping. <laughs> <laughs>